Hi everyone, we are from Bishop Paul Jubilee School. Today, we would like to share with you about our project, Planters Floating Greenhouse. Nowadays, the impact of climate change and global warming on food supply has become more and more significant. For example, in Hong Kong, due to the rapid tropical cyclones, the vegetable supply has become very unstable. On the other hand, due to the global rising and aging populations, the demand for crops has been increasing. Thus, we see the need to design a device that can grow crops self-sufficiently and sustainably by utilizing the sea area, so that we can reduce the demand on farmland and freshwater source. To begin with, we will introduce a key part of our model, the distillation unit, which converts seawater into freshwater, which is connected to our planting unit. Moving on, the progress of the growth will be monitored using the IoT. A variety of sensors and machines are used here. Last but not least, we try to use recycled materials as much as possible, and the details will be presented at the end of the video. Let's move on to the next part. Here comes the distillation unit. As you can see, this cotton wick obtains and transfers seawater to the center of the sphere. Then, through evaporation and condensation at the top, fresh water can be obtained at the bottom of the chamber and transported to the planting units. What's more, the distillation process of our model is highly sustainable and eco-friendly. The evaporation of seawater is brought by the heat of sunlight, meaning no artificial energy source is required to power the desalination process. And here, this is our planting unit. Inside, you can see that we have added some streams and also some 3D printed containers into it. By adding those streams, we hope to practice aquaponics, as those streams they will eat the algae around the chamber. Also, the excrement can act as a fertilizer for the plants. Also, for the containers, they are designed to fit in the seedlings, and there is also space provided for the streams to hide, as they will get stressed easily if they are exposed constantly. By doing so, we hope to provide a suitable environment for the living of both plants and animals. We have installed a lot of devices using IoT to facilitate remote control. They include temperature and humidity sensor, controlled by ESP8266 microcontroller, which monitors the planting environment. Here, a camera controlled by ESP32 can give a real-time images of the plants for every 15 minutes. In order to minimize the power consumption, we have set the camera in sleep mode after taking the image. In addition, the water level is controlled by a valve to prevent flooding in the planting chamber. All of, all of these devices are powered by a solar power panel, making the system carbon neutral. We also use many recycled materials in our model to reduce solid waste. For example, the cotton wick in the distillation unit is made from used clothes. The base of the sphere is once a wheel holding 3D printing filaments. Last but not least, the whole floating platform of our model is reused from broken student desk. And that concludes our sharing today. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.